Okay, we'll dive in here. We had pretty good luck last time digging way down in there. Can only go so far. There's stuff hidden way down in here. Ugh. Let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oops, sorry about that. Oops, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25. Well, there's the two that didn't make it. <laughs> In they go. Another chance, another day. Okay, I got 25. I saw some good ones in this one. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. I'll get these ordered and we'll roll them through the diorama. Okay, we're back. We're gonna go through the first 10 here pretty quick as we usually do. So. This one ended up with some uh, real good ones in the top 15, but let's get through the first ones. Ooh, that zoomed in way too close. There we go. I don't think that's going to zoom. Just a second. Let's get this right. Let's get it right. Hide my clamp back there. <laughs> okay. Rally Cat is first. Let's see if this works better. I think that'll be a little bit better. So Rally Cat is going to be first for us today. He's number 25. He didn't make it very far. This one is one of the new ones. I think that's a 2018, no, 2017 model. That was probably maybe the first edition Rally Cat. Don't remember. Don't really care. <laughs> Next, we've got an El Camino. This one's a treasure hunt. It did not make it very far. Not because I don't like this one. I thought this was one of the better treasure hunts. I just... Yeah, I liked some other cars better. I guess you could argue some of these choices, but it is a treasure hunt. There's the treasure hunt symbol right there. El Camino from 2015, I think. I'm going to guess on that. Next, we've got a truck. This is a matchbox. I did not look to see what it was. Give me just a second. That is a Kenworth. Aerodyne, I believe. That one in played with shape. The smokestacks always get bent. This one could be fixed up, but pretty good shape. Let's catch the light on it there a little bit better. So a Kentworth. We do have our uh, road up here. <laughs> we can put some on it. Uh, next work, we got Chicane. This one from the mystery car series in 19 or 19 2017 that is the sticker that came with it i always throw the stickers in with the mystery cars i still like the mystery cars i not that they're really a mystery i just like collecting them i think they're fun and i think they're getting back to really giving these some nice tampos like they used to but he does not score too high on our list today Next up, we've got a color shifter. This one is in the middle of color shifting because uh, my hands warmed it up. It is uh, a Chevelle. It's, uh, I think this is the only Chevelle that isn't see-through. Bit of trivia. And you can see it is a color shifter. There you go. He likes to color shift. This is a very twitchy color shifter. Yeah, I think all the rest of this model were see-through models. This is the only one that isn't. So, very cool color shifter. We've got up next a 67, 68 Mustang. That is from the 2015 multi-packs. I think that was a multi-pack exclusive. You know, now that I'm looking at it, I might have, I should have ranked this one a little bit higher. <laughs> I think I, I think I, uh, 
misranked a few here, but I guess it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have ranked too much higher with these other cars coming up. We've got a 18 Camaro. That one from the 2018 collection. That's a Camaro SS. Like the paint job on that. We can put him up here. Little traffic jam up there in the jungle. Bad place to have a traffic jam. Next up, we got an Acura. This one was a very popular model when it came out. That's the 90 Acura NSX. And that one is from 2018 Mainline Series. Uh, this one came in a few colors. Yeah. I'm a huge Acura, Acura fan. And I don't really like that top, how they did that. Would have liked to have seen the casting a little bit more on the top, but I'm picky, I guess. Next up, I don't know what this is. This is a, oh, this was from the Lamborghini series that came out in 2017. That one is a Gallardo. Nope, it is a Murcielago. I probably mispronounced that. There you go. Mercia Lago from 2017 Lamborghini series. We've got a Raptor up next. We'll have to get this guy up in the jungle, right? That is a 17 Ford F-150 Raptor from the 2018 main lines. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and put him up here. Yeah, whoops, let's get him. There we go. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Make sure they don't crash into each other. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? I missed number 25. I, well, then this is just going to be way out of order. You know what? I'll just leave this. The uh, Rally Cat was not number 25. This guy was number 25. That's got to go from 2018. The pink one. When uh, you roll this guy, his little... Back end there flips up and down. It's got a little knob there on the back tire. It hits a little trigger, bounces that up and down. That was actually number 25. Sorry about that. My ordering, I'm running out of space here and I got them all scattered around. All right, this is not, we're not a top 10 yet. This is a Summit Camaro. I forgot what this guy is. It's a 67 Camaro. This one got a lot of attention. For the uh, door lines, this is the the lineless door line. See, there's no door line there. There were two varieties of this one. One with the door lines and one without. Might have actually been more varieties now that I think about it. This one got a lot of attention when it was out. This one from 2016? 17? It's recent. All right, we got a Matchbox, our first Matchbox. No, that truck was a Matchbox. This is a Hummer. A lot of these came out. Slight differences with all of them. This one does have the opening back. It's got the little turning gun on it. Little Hummer there, breaking our, are we in the top 15 yet? Uh, just, yeah, top 15. Let's uh, put our Hummer back here. A military escort that looks pretty good back there in the in the uh, diorama. Another matchbox. This one a Nissan Junior. This one is pretty recent. Don't remember when this this one came out. I think it was let's say it was the end of last year's run. Uh, that's the '62 Nissan Junior. Uh, yeah, 2017 on that one. A very cool little car. He can go over there too. He kind of looks like he fits. We've got a Super B. This one from one of the recent editions. That one from 2018. In fact, it's very recent, like in the last couple months. 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. I do like this casting. And you know, if this one's this high, we've got some pretty good ones because that is one of my favorite castings. Of all time, it would make my top 10. We've got a Ferrari 288 GTO, and I don't have any information on this one. <laughs> I have nothing. I don't know the year. 
I looked for it, but I didn't put much effort into it. So I like that color. It's in pretty good shape. It's been played with. You can see the scratching on the wheels and it's got a little wobbly wheel there in the front, but I do like that one. I bet that one's going to get disagreed with. All right, are we in our top 10? We are in our top nine. So that was our 10th contender. Number nine. Now, I think this gets pretty competitive here. We got a 65 Mustang. This one from 1998. Look at the detail on that. Not crazy about that interior, but look at all the detail down there. That is a pretty nice car. That one rolls just dandy. We'll park him over here. All right, number, I think this is eight. This one is a Ford Fusion. I really like this one because I, I always think these Ford Fusions are kind of odd. They show up in strange places. This one from the Kellogg cereal boxes. This one the first time out of its package ever. I don't know the year on this, but it's, it's older. <laughs> because they haven't put real cars in cereal in a really long time. There is the bottom. I know some of you like to see the bottom so you can help identify them. But that Ford Fusion came in a cereal box. You could get your cars in a cereal box back in the day. All right, this one. Sorry, I didn't pre-open this one. Oh, full disclosure, one of the cars I pulled out of the bin was a motorcycle. I don't usually show the motorcycles here, so I pulled this car as an extra, and it made it into the top 10, and that is a shoebox. This one from 2008, that is from the top 40 set. I like that one. Could do without the chrome interior. It looks a little robotic, but I do like the chrome engine, and to get the chrome engine, you got to have the chrome interior with this model. I like me those shoe boxes. One of my favorite castings. Probably would make my top 20. Here's a fun one. This is a green light. We haven't seen a green light in a long time. This one, a Ford Focus. 2012 Ford Focus. Never know what you're going to find in the bin here. Uh, that Ford Focus. Uh, you know, would have sold for around five bucks, probably more. It's got rubber tires on it, real nice rims, very realistic size and scale on those green lights. Rolls just fine for a green light. Lots of detail as you'd expect on a green light, but that Ford Focus makes it in at number six. Number five, now it's getting pretty competitive. It would not be a top 25 without a cop rod. And evidently the St. Paul police ride around in this sweet roadster. This one is a, there's the bottom, it's a Fiat. I didn't know that was a Fiat. Fiat 500C rubber tires. This was probably the first series of cop rods. Don't remember the date on these, but they were early 2000s. I like that one. That is one of my favorite of the cop rods and it only finished number five beat out by number four a byway man byway man one of the more popular hot wheels models that one from 1995 that byway man is in perfect condition look at those black wall tires that chrome hasn't ever been touched this guy was bought and stored. <laughs> so show up in our video. He does need a little bit of cleaning there in the front. I just noticed that, but that, that can be cleaned away. But that Byway Man, I do like that Byway Man. In fact, it's going to replace my Raptor up here. Whoa, don't, don't smash into the convoy there. All right, next up now, here's another fun one, number three. We've got ourselves a hair splitter. You probably saw the hood pop up on that one. That one from 2012, that is from the Hot One series. It was kind of a short-lived that year only series. I thought the Hot One series was kind of disappointing, but this one was in it. It was at the end of the Hot One series. And uh, I really like hair splitter, and this was probably my favorite version of it that we've seen. 
Uh, only three of the retooled hair splitters out there in variation. The, the older model, before it was retooled, quite a few of those. In fact, a lot of them that actually look very similar. But uh, this is the retooled model, and we've only seen three of those. There's a Hot Ones, there's a Flying Customs, and one was in the Heritage Collection. This one from the Hot Ones, it's got tools in the back there. I really like this one. Opening hood. It doesn't get any better than that. You could put rubber tires on that, and that would be a nice premium model. All right, we're down to our top two. So, number two, 55 Corvette. This was one of my favorite castings from, I believe, 2018, right? I think that is from 2018. This was one of my favorites. This was a then and now. So there was the newer version of this particular Corvette. It was also out with the same colors. But that 55 Corvette comes in at number two. This is one that could really do with a wheel swap and some different rims. It also has those new rims that they came out with in 2018, which are pretty nice rims. I do like that little Corvette, but he is not our top choice. Our top choice, another Johnny Lightning. I got a little bit of grief for picking so many. Johnny Lightnings is number one for a guy that doesn't collect Johnny Lightnings. <laughs> the only Johnny Lightnings I get are ones that just happen to show up. And that is that guy right there. It's going to be hard to say that he shouldn't be number one, I think. I think for all the right reasons, it's black. It's got a skull with some matte black and some, some gloss black in there. Is that a hearse? What is that? That is a... That is a... Oh my god, that is so small. It is a Ford something. And I cannot read it. In fact, I'm going to put it here because you'll be able to read it. Whoa! <laughs> Earthquake! You'll be able to read that. It's right up there. It is a Ford... Uh, Falcon! I would not have guessed that was a Ford Falcon, to be perfectly honest. The Ford Falcon Hurst. Would, look at those rims. That is a nice car. Don't like the, the tires on the... The Johnny Lightnings. This was not from the heyday of Johnny Lightnings, but that is our number one car. And I think that uh, that diorama came out pretty good this time. So thank you for watching, folks. You can add any comments below. If you want to add any history about any of these cars, go ahead. I'm always interested in what you guys dig up. I don't spend a lot of time looking these up. Some of them I just remember. Some of them I got to look up. And most of the time I've looked these up a long time ago. So <laughs> the history changes over time. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.